Well, welcome back to the homestead. In the last episode, we got our tub installed in this upstairs bathroom. And today we're going to be working on roughing the faucet in for that tub. But before we get started uh, actually roughing this valve in, the first thing we're going to do is protect our tub. So I've cut a, a piece of the box that the tub came in. Uh, I've cut that out to just put in the bottom of the tub. And that'll help protect from anything getting dropped on it or scratching the tub. And I've also got a side of the box that we're just going to put over the top. And that'll just protect it from any uh, damage while we're doing the installation in case we drop a tool, a hammer, or a drill, or anything like that. We don't want to damage the finish on the tub. So. so let's go ahead and open our box and get our mixing valve out and get some measurements off of that so that we can start roughing in the faucet. All right, so this is the mixing valve for the faucet. That's just going to mount into the wall. You have a line that comes off the top for the shower, one that comes off the bottom for the spout of the tub, and then you'll have your hot and cold to come in on the sides. But what we have to do is figure out how far into the wall to mount this, because this piece of black plastic here is called a mud ring. And this mud ring is supposed to be flush with your finished wall. So after you've got your uh, backer board up and you've got your tile on there and the wall is completely finished, this needs to be flush with the tile. So let's get some measurements on this and see how far inset we need it to be. So to find out how deep the, the mixing valve is here, I'm just going to put it up next to a stud and measure out to the end of the mixing ring and that's going to be 3 and 3 sixteenths. So now that we know the mixing valve is 3 and 3 sixteenths from the back of the valve to the end of the mud ring, we need to figure out how deep the finished wall is going to be. So from the back of this stud to the face of the tile, I need to know that measurement. So I've got a stud here that's supposed to be three and a half, but it's really three and seven sixteenths. Then we're going to have a half inch sheet of Duroc, a sixteenth inch of thinset, and a quarter inch tile. So when you add those up, you get a finished wall depth of four and a quarter inches. So from the back of the stud, to the finished face of the tile should be four and a quarter inches. And if you subtract the three and three sixteenths inches of this valve from that, you get an inch and a sixteenth. So I need to come from the back of this stud in an inch and a sixteenth with a uh, mounting board so that when I mount the mixing valve to that and the finished wall is done, this mud ring will be flush with the face of the tile. So let's go ahead and see about getting a board cut for that. All right, so I've got just a piece of scrap two by six that I can fit in between these two studs now. But now I need to go ahead and mark the studs for where to mount it. So the mixing valve needs to be about 32 inches uh, off of the floor. So we'll go ahead and mark 32 inches to the center of the valve. So that's where the center of the valve needs to end up. And then I need to mark an uh, inch and a sixteenth inset.
So now that I've got a line for the center of the valve and a line for how far in the board needs to come on the inset, I can go ahead and screw the, uh, the board that I'm going to mount the faucet to in. So our mounting board's in place now, but before I actually attach my valve to it, I've got to convert the ports on my valve from this half inch NPT, which is a half inch pipe thread, over to a half inch uh, PEX crimp on connection. So we're just going to wrap these four ports with Teflon tape and tighten these valves up on them to adapt it over to PEX. So as you're wrapping these threads with the Teflon tape, the thing you need to pay attention to is which direction you're wrapping the tape. You always want your tape to wrap the same direction as the fitting is going to screw on to the threads. So that way when the, the fitting is screwing on to it, it's not trying to ball the, the thread up uh, because the end would be uh, pointed the, the wrong direction. All right, so now that I've got all four ports adapted uh, from the half inch NPT over to the half inch PEX, we're ready to go ahead and attach that to our mountain board. Now that we've got the mixing valve installed, we're gonna rough in for the tub spout eight inches below that. So we'll drop eight inches from the center of the valve and we'll mount another two by four across there. Then we'll attach this drop ear to it. The drop ear just has a couple of holes for screws to go in. Attach it to the two by four. Then you'll have a half inch galvanized pipe that comes out the front and your half inch PEX comes in the top. So let's go ahead and get our board mounted up for that. Now that we've got our board in place, I'm gonna transfer the center line of the mixing valve down to this board so I know exactly where the drop ear is gonna attach and then we'll get a measurement for the piece of PEX pipe between there and go ahead and put that on the drop ear because once the drop ear is in place, there, there's not enough room between the drop ear and the mounting board to get the crimp tool. So we'll go ahead and put that on before we actually attach this. So when I put the dog ear up here and I measured it, I needed a five inch piece of PEX to get between the drop ear and the mixing valve. So I've gone ahead and cut that and we're just going to go ahead and uh, crimp that on now. So I'm just sliding that pipe over the dog ear or drop ear. I've got the crimp ring on that. We'll slide that into the crimp tool, make sure everything's lined up nice and straight. Go ahead and crimp it. So now that we've got it crimped into place, I'll just check it with the go no go tool. And it, it's not bottoming out, but it is fitting over it, so it's a good, good connection. Then we'll put another ring on it, and we'll slide it up onto the mixing valve and connect it there. Now my drop ear is ready to attach to the mixing valve for the tub spout, but the crimp tool is gonna hit this backer board for all four of these ports. So what I'm gonna do is unattach the mixing valve from the backer board. We'll go ahead and drill the uh, holes for the hot and cold water supply now that we know where the valve is gonna be. And then while the valve is unattached, I'll run those lines through and crimp all of them on, including a line going up to the shower and reattach the valve and then we'll be ready to focus on the shower. All right, so now the uh, 
mixing valve is reattached to the board. The hot and cold supply lines are crimped onto it. The supply line for the tub spout is crimped on. The drop ear is secured for the tub. And I've got a supply line for the shower head crimped onto it. So what we need to do now is go up and put a drop ear on for that. You can see I've already got the support board for the drop ear put in. And I've got the center line marked both directions on it. So I know exactly where the dog ear is gonna attach. So now I can set that dog ear up roll my shower supply line up, get a length on it, and we'll cut that off and then crimp it to the drop ear and go ahead and attach it. So as far as roughing in this tub in the upstairs bathroom, I believe we're done. We've got the tub set, we've got the drop ear for the tub faucet, installed. We've got it taped off so no trash gets in it. We've got our mixing valve installed with the hot and cold supply lines hooked up. And we've also got the shower head and the tub hooked up to it. If you swing around to the side, you can see that that black ring sticks out about three quarters of an inch. So whenever the tile is finished, the tile should be flush to that ring. And then up at the top, we've got a, a second drop ear for the shower head to connect to. So that pretty much does it for roughing in the faucet for this tub. And I think that's gonna pretty much do it for this episode too. So until next time, y'all keep checking back.